Hey guys, this message is for Scorpio for July of 2021. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Danielle Ingenito. And if you are coming back, thanks for coming back. Um, I am a spiritual empowerment coach and healer, and I am the expert in healing after toxic relationships. So in this video, you're going to get the message from spirit. I intuitively read these cards so you can check out your other signs. And also, if it doesn't resonate, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? There's a general reading. All right, so let's see what is happening. Also, if you haven't heard or checked out yet, I do have my new book out on Amazon. It's called It's Not You, It's Your Energy. So if you are picking up on other people's energy, have energy vampires around you, toxic people around you, um, this book is going to teach you how to clear it, protect it, and also heal your energy, which our energy holds our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So if you don't know about this at all, that is why I wrote the book. So it's very intro to energy to really give you an idea of how you can start changing your life. If you feel as though you've been going to therapy or things haven't been working for you, this book will definitely help. Okay, you can find it on Amazon. It's only 99 cents right now. All right, let's see what's happening. So Scorpios. The overall energy here is the Ten of Wands. So this is about releasing the burden, putting the burden down. So my question to you is how much pressure are you taking on from other people? Okay, so it's about releasing and putting down something that is kind of weighing on you. This uh, They're telling me like this could be a secret from somebody else that you're carrying for somebody else. Um, this could be something related to work. It could be related to relationships. But what are you carrying that is not yours and that it needs to be put down so that you can start to feel better? All right. The cards look pretty good. So, you know, once you put this down this month, I think it's going to change a lot for you. You've got the Queen of Cups for the, the beginning of the month here. You've got the Two of Cups. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Lots of power in the beginning of the month. Um, wow, you got three queens in the beginning of the month. So lots of feminine energy, a lot of power energy. And with the Two of Cups, like this could be a relationship forming, okay? Queen of Cups to me is someone that lives their life with love, like open ears and sees the best in everyone, but also stands her ground, okay? The Two of Cups definitely starting a... Um, partnership, some kind of romantic relationship, could be a business relationship. Um, they're also bringing children in to me right now. So this could have to do with maybe getting together with a child you haven't seen in a really long time is what I'm getting. Um, adoption is also what I'm getting, okay? So this could definitely be something that's happening in the beginning of this month. You've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. I'm just loving all these queens. I've never had that happen. Do you even have any more? No, okay. So you got three queens here. So this is about standing in your power, looking and focusing on the best things about you. Like, I just, I just, I'm in awe. Like, seriously, I'm just in awe here. So it's like finding the best things about you and focusing on that. And like, uh, they're showing me like living your life from the inside out. So it's about projecting your energy out into the world rather than being afraid of other people's energy coming to you, okay? Um, I actually talk about, it's something similar to that about a protection method in the book about shining like the sun. And that's what I'm feeling here. It's like you are shining your energy out and living in this place of just letting people be who they are and like figuring out if that's good for you or not, okay? In the middle of the month, we've got the page of pentacles. We've got the Unknown card, Page of Swords, and the King of Cups. And one thing I'm going to say is in the middle of the month, like, be careful. Like, don't drop your guard. Don't drop your vibration more is really what I want to say, okay? Because realize we're going from the Queen to the Page, okay, and the Queen to the Page, okay? But we by the end of the middle of the month, we end up with a King, okay? So that's that's progress, but I'm feeling a little wishy-washy energy here in the middle of the month. So like maybe self-doubts are coming through, maybe fears are coming through, the unknown card. So that's telling me that you might not really be in a stable, safe position, um, either in a relationship, in job, whatever, however it's resonating with you. But to just be careful that you don't downgrade, like be careful that you don't um, 
I call it like a ego hole where it's like you start to sink into this ego hole with all the negative thinking and the self doubts and all the fears and stuff. And it's really hard to get out of that. So stay consistent in the middle of the month, like be very, very aware if there's any negative thoughts coming in to catch them really quick and re, re, you know, redo them, like think something positive, okay, or distract yourself because you do have the king of cups here by the end. There is the full moon here that I'm being attracted to. So definitely, and there's two full moons up here. So the full moon towards the end of the month, I'm not even sure what date it is, but some, um, I know the full, the new moon's today. So therefore the full moon is going to be a little bit later. And I feel as though that could start to bring some things, skeletons in the closet, like up for you and really kind of, um, bring things to the surface that you haven't dealt with yet, okay? And that's why we're getting the five of wands. This is conflict. So you might be going back and forth either with a person or you could be going back and forth with yourself with all these things that are coming up. You've got the two of pentacles, which is balance. You're doing it though. Like you're doing the work. You're, you know, letting go of the burden and this could be part of the burden that's coming up for you. Things that you have not dealt with in the past they're coming up with this full moon coming in is what I'm feeling, okay? We've got the Magician card and the Four of Swords. And I feel like by the end of this month, you are just going to need a break. Like, because it, th this is so much energy that sometimes when we have such a surge of energy, sometimes it drains us. And I feel as though by the end of this month for you guys, you're going to kind of need a break um, to re revive yourself, okay? But the Magician here, that's your manifestation card. So whatever you're manifesting... They're making me feel like you're getting it, but you're getting it in a roundabout way. So you might not be able to see it. And that's why the doubts are coming through. But like, just trust that it's happening. Okay. That unknown card, very scary for people. <laughs> um, but when you can get comfortable and heal yourself and trust yourself, like the unknown card is okay because no matter what it is, you have trust and confidence in you that you're going to be able to deal with whatever situation that is. You don't have to worry if someone likes you. You don't have to worry if you're going to get the job. You don't have to worry if you're going to get fired. Like, you don't have to worry about what people are going to think about you. Like, it doesn't matter to you anymore when you do that inner work. Um, they're also show, uh, giving me the word protection when I'm looking at these queens above. So some of you are sitting in this queen energy, but it's for protection because it's like, nope, nobody can hurt me. Nope. Especially with this queen of swords. She's all about boundaries to me. And it's like, nope, nobody can hurt me. Um, I won't let them. I'll hurt them first. Like that kind of energy. Just be careful of that type of energy if that is you. Um, because that just means that there needs to be some healing within because you've been hurt in the past and your walls are up. Okay, your walls are up, and that's why you feel like you need to protect yourself so much. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay. So we've got the star card, and it says hope, inspiration, and nature. So really realizing here that you are, again, shining. You are shining bright, okay? So there's a lot of energy that's coming out of you at this moment. And then you've got budget lessons here, so five of coins. So make sure that you're not spending... You know, sometimes when we're in this great energy, it's like, yeah, we'll take that. We'll do this and da, 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 da. But like, just make sure that you're budgeting your money, not spending too much. Definitely not spending frivolously, like only spend what you need. Um, there's a lesson there for you guys, for some of you here. Like this is a lesson that like they've been trying to teach you over and over and over again, but you're just not getting it. <laughs> so definitely start to really pay attention to this because they're tune tuning into like, listen, like like finally just do it okay like just get the lesson and and they're showing me like you're making excuses and they're like tired of it <laughs> I love spirit they're tired of it and it's like dude like how many times do you have to do this in order to get the message that we're trying to send to you it's like wake up right um but being human it's hard for us because you know, we only do things when we're ready to do them, else our ego is just going to keep us in the same cycles of sabotaging ourselves. And that's what I'm feeling here. You got the emperor. So some of you are going to take this message and you're going to push through and you're going to budget your money and you're going to, you know, preserve your energy and really, you know, bring up things that you haven't dealt with before and heal them. It says masculine influence and power. So again, power in this reading for sure. Like it, it's, yeah. 
the energy is strong in this reading. So you might feel um, a lot of strong energy, but I feel like it's going to be in the best way possible. And the things that are coming up for you are going to be like just epiphanies that are going to change things for you. It's not like tower moments where you're breaking down or anything like that. It's like you're just going to start to see things clearer um, and recognize the power within and, and the ability that you actually have to create a life that you want. Oh, I just had someone get this. I think it was Gemini. Um, name all the things you love. And it says, are you one of them? And it says, today's mantra. I give myself all the love and attention I need. And that's the thing. Like, you have to love yourself before you can love others. So really focus on your boundaries here with the Queen of Swords. You know, trusting yourself with the Queen of Pentacles. And living that life with love, but not for everybody else, but before, for yourself first. And then when you have that love for yourself, it changes the dynamic of all of your relationships. So if you are suffering from toxic relationships, you're suffering from, you know, friendships, partnerships, romantic stuff, and like you feel like people don't see you, they don't treat you well and all of this stuff, and you've got to ask yourself, like, do you love yourself? Like, do you set your boundaries? Do you trust yourself? Do you have love, right? So are you one of those people that you love? And you should be number one on that list. And it's not selfish to be number one on that list. All right, so that is the message that I have for you this month. Please make sure to check out my book, It's Not You, It's Your Energy on Amazon. It's number one new release. And then also make sure you hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification to get notified when I do have new videos coming out. And make sure you hit that little thumbs up button if you enjoyed the reading. All right. Much love to all of you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.